Thank you so very much for watching our contents on Jackson Global Network. We really appreciate you. Thank you for your subscription. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your encouragement, your support in all spheres. We are so grateful. Thank you so much. I hope you have been blessed watching our content on Jartem Global Network. I hope you have been blessed. And by the grace of God, this one that you are going to watch and the subsequent ones, you will be blessed the more by His grace. Please, if you are yet to subscribe, please do so immediately. Don't forget to click on the notification button. Send in your comments. Share. Like. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Stay actionable. I'm sorry, this is... I have only one dollar left to pay. What do I do now? You have to pay. The issue is that this account is the only one that is funded. I don't have any of that money anyway. Can you allow me to go and come back and pay? That's not possible. My mother will not take that from me. There seems to be a problem with your BFN bow data. So your account has been frozen pending the resolution of the issue. You mean my account is blocked? Yes, sir. Let me ask you, what is your real age? I don't know what is wrong in adjusting someone's age just to get a good job. But I am above the age requirement for that offer. Says who? Says my birth certificate. I know my age now. Dear sir, it is with a great regret and pain that I write this letter of resignation. It has become a necessity and compulsion for me to resign my appointment in this organization, having realized my great error and misdeed. I'm not proud to say I doctored and adjusted my age in order to get this job. In my desperation, I erroneously did this in a bid to get this job. At all costs, even when my age is well above the age requirement for the job, there is indeed no justification for my actions because it was wrong and smacks of misdeed and dishonesty. Having been rebuked by God 
and my conscience of my wrong action. I have come to resign my appointment as a sign of my regret, remorsefulness, and repentance. I condemn my own action in its entirety as I apologize for any inconvenience my action might have caused this organization. I am terribly sorry for everything. Please find it in your heart to forgive me for my misdeeds. Faithfully yours. Akigide Kendet. <sighs> so you lied. You adjusted your age in order to get a job. Eh? But I thought you were a Christian. I thought you can be trusted. So you are not different from one of those fake Christians out there. I am so disappointed in you. And I know God is much more disappointed. Am I even sure that you've not been stealing companies' money and properties? No, no sir. That, that's, that's not... Will you shut up? You still have the audacity to, 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 to talk? You're so shameless. Hey, aren't you ashamed of yourself? <sighs> Look, if you provoke me any further, I will get you arrested. Huh. Don't you know that this is criminal? And you're liable to be jailed for it. <sighs> get out. Get out of here. Get out. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Come back here. And where do you think you are going? I said, where do you think you are going? Rita, I need you in my office right away. Have you been? Are you alone? Yes, but bike man is waiting for me. I've been knocking for minutes. I beg, give me hundred naira. I want to keep the bike man. Hundred naira. Yes, please be fast. Okay. I'm ah, are you okay? Okay. Be fast. Okay, I'm ready. Ah. I beg, I they come. Please be fast. How did it go? It went very badly. He was so angry after reading the letter. So angry. Maybe that was what resulted into the bad dream I was having when you came. Bad dream? Yes. Very bad dream. I had a dream that he got me arrested after reading the letter. The, the, the dream was so real and I was so scared. 
Let's just thank God it's a dream. Just thank God it's a dream. But we need to see how angry he was and how disappointed he was at me. But that's understandable actually. But so long you've done the right thing and God is no longer disappointed in you, all will be well. But I, I expected him to try to understand that I'm trying <laughs> you to do the right thing. You can't expect everyone to understand you. Can't. Okay. Are you sure you will not later get me arrested? Ah, oh, don't tell me you are still scared of the dream. You will not be arrested in Jesus' name. You can't be arrested in Jesus' name. Amen. You won't be arrested. Uh, another oh. thing I'm afraid of is about our wedding. How about our wedding? Now that I'm out of job, how do we finish? Don't our wedding? even go there. Don't even go there. So you are thinking you shouldn't have resigned and continued in error. I, have you forgotten the revelation you had that your BBN in heaven was blocked? I, I do, but I, I, I just think Don't that worry. God told you to do the right thing and you've done it. So let's trust God that he also will do the right thing by making your life and waves right. As regards the wedding, don't worry. I trust God that I won't be put to shame. That aside, I'm so proud of you for doing the right thing. I love you. <sighs> I love you too. And many other tribulations. But my God. No, Kenneth, is it true? What is true? As in, is it true that you've resigned from your place of work? Yes, it is true. What? Are you drunk or what? No, what would have happened that make you to do such a foolish thing? <laughs> when your wedding is just a few months away. James, that was me doing restitution. Rest? Rest what? Is that what you call this foolishness? See, Kenneth, let me tell you. Restitution is old school. You are only toying with your, your life, your future, and your destiny with this nonsense you call restitution. <laughs> now, tell me, is it that someone discovered your rage or why, 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 why did you do this? No, no one discovered. But James, does God not know about it in the first place? <laughs> See, I have done the right thing and there is no going back. Oh, Mr. Right Thing. So, can you now tell me, what is your gain now? Eh? By this your so-called restitution. Oh, maybe you have gained back your lack and poverty. No. I have gained my peace of mind. I have gained my right standing with God and my integrity with man. And that to me is so much more than anything you think I have lost. Oh, good. I wish you well. But for the record, don't ever come to me for any help. Don't let me see you around me again, Kenneth. You can make use of all what you have gained to fund your wedding expenses and cater for your other needs. Good day. Just before you go, Bro James, what kind of a Christian are you? Why did you become what you have chosen to become? Ah, it was of wrong advice that led me to do what I did in the first place. Not again. Bro James, what happened to you? You were never like this when we first gave our life to Christ. You no longer care about right standing with God, integrity, or honesty. Wow. Wow. I'm appalled that you can allow the pleasures of this world to blind you into living a continuous life of compromise. Wow. Wow. And for the record, unlike what you said earlier, Doing the right thing has nothing to do with me toying with my life, my future, and my destiny. Because I have put all of that in God's hands. 
who never disappoints. And for the record, God, who I serve, will take care of me. And if he chooses not to, I will never come to you for any help. For vain is the help of man. Good day, friend. Has come over you. Eh? Why would you resign when your wedding is just a few months away? Ah, already your two younger ones are married and they are doing well. Huh? You are the firstborn. But it seems as if you are satisfied being a backbencher. Mommy, I will not be a backbencher in Jesus' name. Do you even know why I resigned? No. Your mother told me that you resigned over a frivolous and unreasonable matter. <laughs> I know they will not tell you the truth, but I will tell you. Mommy, do you know I had to reduce my age in order to get that job? Huh? Jesus! You did what? Why did you do that? You are a Christian for crying out loud. I know, mommy. I know as a Christian, I was wrong to have done that. But I must tell you, mommy, that you are one of the people who pushed and pressurized me into doing that. Yes, mommy. Oh, doing that is not right. But it is right to turn yourself to a polished beggar. You, you have to listen to what people are saying behind you. Kenneth, well, if you choose to be over righteous and lose this golden opportunity, just for you to know, you can never get any help from me again. I don't know what is wrong in adjusting someone's age just to get a good job. I'm a Christian. I can't do that. <laughs> Hmm. My little Pope Kenneth, as if other Christians don't do it. See, I have said my own. You can never get any help from me again. Can we go? See, do whatever you like. Hello, mommy. Kenneth, I am not happy with you at all. Mommy, what have I done again? What have you not done? Are you not the firstborn? How much have you sent to me in the last two years? How much have you contributed to the progress of the family? But Mommy, you, you know I'm not working. I don't have a job. Mm -mm. That's what you keep saying. What is wrong with you? Didn't we send you to school? How come your younger ones have good jobs and you don't have? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Aren't you tired of repeating that story, I don't have a job? I don't have a job. How are other people getting jobs, eh? That you are not getting? See, whatever others are doing, that they are getting jobs. Go and do so, so you too can get a job. And stop making yourself a liability to others. Good day. So, mommy, I bowed to the pressures. Oh. Okay. Hey. I didn't mean to do that. I was only trying to motivate you so that you could do something good for yourself. I don't want you to beg from your yoga words. I'm sorry. <sighs> Mommy, I understand. So the Holy Spirit spoke to me and asked me to go and do restitution according to the word of God. And so that was why I had to resign. 
I'm so sorry. You have taken the right decision. And the God you serve will surely open the windows of heaven and the doors of heaven over you. Amen. Ah, by the grace of God, the Lord will bless you. Amen. He will open doors for you Amen. that no man can shut. Amen. And concerning your wedding, don't bother yourself because my God will supply all your needs Amen. according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. So don't bother. Mm. It is well with you. Amen. God bless you. Mama. I love you, my son. I love you, mama. Thank you, mama. Take your water. Take your water. Thank you. Why are you not fetching? Why you so much need water? Oh, you think the water will not flow for you again? God is not a wicked God. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Proverbs 28:13. Since you have confessed, forsaken, and even restituted your sins, you have obtained God's mercy. Your BVN in heaven has been rectified, and your account unfrozen. You are therefore qualified to prosper. Now, Go fetch. Go fetch. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. My heaven is opened. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus! Jesus! Hello, Piadu. Hello, sir. Did you see the money I sent? Yes, I did. What is it for? I feel compelled to send it to you. It towards your wedding and other things. Wow. I saw a huge amount. Like I said, I feel compelled. You know, I'm not that kind of a giver. Ah, thank you so much. God bless you, brother. Thank you so very much. Amen, sir. Thank you. Good day, sir. Thank you, good day. Ah, thank you, Jesus. My help is so poor. My, my help is so poor. <laughs> to deliver you from trouble and shame. Hello, Sister Faith. My, my help is so poor. 
the help is so good. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Ah, Lord, thank you. Ah, Lord, I bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Many other tribulations, but my God is able to deliver you from trouble. And what are you trying to hide? I thought you are perfect. No, I am not. Oh, so you know you are not perfect. Yet you are quick to judge a brother who is doing the right thing. Do you know how many times you have committed big blunders even after you gave your life to Jesus? Yet God forgave you and restore you. But you decided to turn yourself to a judge. For a brother who believe you should understand being a fellow Christian like him. But what did you do? You condemned, humiliated, and you sacked him instead. Imagine if God should condemn, humiliate, and sack you whenever you err. What would have become of you? It is people like you who make it difficult for people to do restitution. You should know better. If the Lord should mar iniquities, who shall stand? Psalms 130 verse 3. <laughs> you better go and do the needful. That was the rebuke of the Holy Spirit I received. Oh. So, I am here to do the needful as instructed. This is your resignation letter. So I am returning it to you. Because in this fence record, we never reside. I'm sorry for making you feel that you have done something bad by coming to restitute. Sir, no problem, sir. Thank you, sir. Eh, hey, bro, you can resume as soon as you want. And uh, I promise that your salary and entitlement will be paid to you in full for those periods of time you were absent. Ah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, that's not all. Please, take this token. This is my personal contribution towards your forthcoming wedding. Thank you so much, sir. I'm grateful, sir. Uh, mind you, that does not stop what the organization will do towards the wedding. I'm sorry for being a bad brother. Oh, sir. Thank you, sir. So, when will you resume? Um, I will resume by Monday, sir. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you, that would just be fine by me. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks, sir. I'm grateful, sir. Please, special regard to your fancy. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. We thank God. Yes, we thank God. Just like that? Yes, mommy, just like that. In wow. fact, I will resume back on Monday. Wow. <laughs> ah, ah. I am so happy for you, son. Thank God, ma. Truly, you serve a living God. Yes, mommy. Ah, ah.
God has finally answered my prayers. Yes, ma'am. And with the look of things, it's like your wedding is going to be the best so far in our church. Amen. Ah. Eh, ah. Ah. God bless you, my dear. Amen, ma'am. Dani Lewa. Thank you so much. You have brought fortune and good luck to my son. Eh? Thank you for your patience and support so far. Bless Even God when God. it looks like the future is bleak. <laughs> eh? God bless you. 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 Thank you so much. Yes, ma. <laughs> ah. Ah. What, what is it? Another alert. Again? Yes. Ah, baby. <laughs> From who? From James, my friend. Ah. I thought he said me. It is coming. Come. Hmm. Hello there. Uh, hello. Was that a mistake? You mean the money? Yes. No. It was not a mistake. It is me making restitution. Oh. I thought restitution is old school. Oh, no, N not at all. I have realized my errors and mistakes after the Holy Spirit had rebooked me. See, all right? I am sorry for all I pushed you to do and all the bad words I said to you. I am truly sorry. I've retraced my step back to the cross. I kept pondering on your word that day, and the Holy Spirit came to me. Kenneth, please, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Mm. <sighs> my friend, your sins are forgiven, but go and sin no more. Thanks so much, bro. Thanks a lot. When can we see? I have a surprise for you. Oh, surprise? Okay. I will call you. Okay. I will expect your call. Please, don't forget to. God bless you. Goodbye, bro. Bye. <laughs> That's not a mistake. Wow. See, look at it. It's so huge. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Lord. Is this God not wonderful? He is. Wow. Lead down, let me pray for you. Thank you. The so tough you lead down. Ah, Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for all that you have done. Thank you, Lord. You are a faithful God. Yes, you are. Father, we commit the days that we have set before you. Yes, we ask Lord. that those days shall be glorious in Jesus' name. Amen. We ask that as your children are preparing for the wedding, we ask that all that is needed shall be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good evening, viewers. We are the Solomon family. I thank you for watching our content on YouTube, Jatem Global Network. And we also want to thank you for subscribing. Please, we beg of you, if you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel, Jatem Global Network, please do so immediately. Thank you. We love you. Sure.